I wasn't supposed to be hiking that day. It was more than five miles out. The restrictions gave me text neck and I missed having muddy boots. It sprayed a rain of which I secretly liked and knew that others don't. A splash and whip across the face, I wouldn't see another soul. Long grass wiped its wet on me, I swam in weirder trail. I climbed the fences, ignored the gates, I hugged the boulders that I'd scale. Dampness didn't get to me, and truth was welcome change. To be in restraint in bed till noon. To do, to do, to day. How to pay, how to feel another's weight. Weightless on the Cocknell Hill. I felt, not thought, at trees. Earnestly, I'm at one, I felt. Then thought, it's not just me. My back was on the bark as I squatted with a flask. His back was on the bark, cross-legged in the grass. A trunk two metres thick was a conductor when he spoke. From the other side, words hit my chest, a resonant wooded croak. I sit here to watch the wind, he said. I walk up here every day. I wake up with the sun himself and talk to air to times away. My dugs run round the fields, the bulls unfazed by now, and they'll find me here or near the jaw when they sense the day is through. I can see the wind, you see, and not just what it does to leaves, it has shape and colour and depths and smells of mountainy seas. I could tell you where it's been by the look upon its breeze. It's pleased, and so am I, to have trained my eye to its scoops and billows and spreading flats to get under bridges and nooks and sometimes playful, sometimes impatient, knocks and hooks and pushes. I swear I see the wind as distinct as you see those bushes. It's full and everywhere, a little ball of it down there, swirling, swirling, swirling. Just see it, no need to stare. Or there a wave like science books, beside that house a stream, cutting straight and sharp and through it, as boredom does to dreams. Even beside me here it mimes the curly of my hair, to loop and dive between it. Have you not ever seen it? I mean it. Observe it, changing what it wants to do, and at that changing daily, minutely, ne'er defining itself definitely, none really to contain its place, and even if you jar it up, it breathes as if there's boundless space. It breathes in a boot and ruin ye, it will lift ye up and groon ye. The yogis call it prana vayu, the Chinese call it chi. But you see, if I was born in Nepal, or Alaska by the poles, you know what I'd be called? I'd be called the wind knowing man. But you don't get legends made about you when you wake up in Clybank. For a while I sat in stillness, some time and time went past. I sipped my flask in silence and noted the currents past.